uh, when we get to the Q and A, you're going to be our man. So we'll we'll be waiting for a bunch of stuff. I have a lot of them. Let's go. Okay, we're going to dive in then. Vadim, you're the man. Let's go. Okay, thank you. Let me share the screen. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, uh, I'm really excited about this update and I have two features to talk about. First one is improved search for leads. For example, right now you can search for lead here in this field. For example, let's search for Walter. Yes, yeah, so you can type. So, and it's gonna suggest some leads you can select here. So let's select this one. Also, you can select multiple ones. It's it's good. Let's type another one. Okay, time tester. So it's working. You can select up to 10 leads here in this field. Also, you can, you can clear all leads. Very nice. Okay, it's working. Uh, the second feature, <clears throat> sorry, it's the second feature I want to talk about is uh, log in as lead. Now you can log in as lead. So uh, let's go to our lead management tool here. So uh, here's the lead management tool and here you can see you can log in as lead here. Uh, let's, let's try and here's going to appear uh, the dashboard on IDX broker. So uh, here we can see one save property. We can unfollow the property. So you can manage uh, save property here. You also can manage safe, uh, safe searches. I know people requested that they wanted to do it like directly on lead management tool here. But with this update, you can just uh, log in as lead and manage, manage all the leads right on IDX broker. For example, how can you manage uh, safe searches? Let's find the lead that has safe searches and let's log in as lead here. So here you can see uh, the lead has some safe searches and you can click like menu here and edit. So you can uh, change it right here. And I think that's it from my side. Okay, thank you, Vadim. Looks like Ifoma has some good questions on that. Maybe give us something to think about here uh, over the next week on those, see if we can make some click outs for them, make that bigger. Um, Maida, you want to go next and show us what you've been working on? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm going to share my screen. So, well, Vadim, what Vadim showed is for IDX broker. I don't know if you, uh, uh, well, it was for IDX broker and this works in IDX add-ons. So I'm going to talk about some new features that we have added. Um, the first one is that we are white labeling uh, our apps and we, well, the apps that are displayed in IDX add-ons. So now you will see, instead of seeing high level or GHL, you are going to start seeing lead connector. We are, we are still uh, making some updates to the apps, but this is going to be like the new label uh, to find the apps. This is how it looks uh, on some public pages, but inside IDX Arons, they will start showing like this uh, saying lead connector. So you can find the apps inside IDX Arons. The other thing that we have updated are the one-click sites. Uh, this is just a reminder that we have two templates. One is the Astra template and the other one is Cancun. 
And the new features uh, that we added to the multi-step form is that you can select now the property type. And this is going to be used uh, to create the communities and some widgets. So in case you only want to show, for example, residential properties or lands or farms, it will only create uh, the communities uh, based on that property types. And the other one is that we have added an option to select a county. Uh, so now you can, uh, you're going to create three community pages, but now you can select if you want to create, for example, the primary community or the main community can be a county or a city and the, also the second and the third community. And finally, I'm going to talk to you about the agency. Well, the agency dashboard that we have in IVX Salons. Um, the idea is that you as an agency, if you are a developer or a marketing person, uh, that you have a dashboard where you can have like, um, like, well, a place to track uh, your clients and their status. So this is how the login looks right now. So you will have an email and a password. And it will show something like this, where you will be able to see um, your IDX broker clients. Uh, for example, here, there are going to be some columns related to their MLS status, if their paperwork has been approved or it, it hasn't been sent or I mean, there are many statuses, but this should be like the right, uh, this should be the place where you can see uh, where they are. Also, if they have access to salt data, active means if uh, they have access to some custom IDX addons tools. We have some partners that have sent us um, design templates and we build them for them. And they, their clients only have access to uh, those templates. And the contact uh, column, that means if we Realty Candy can, ask, uh, can contact your client directly or, or if you wouldn't want us to contact them. And here on the actions column, uh, you can click on this red button and that means that we are going to receive a notification that do you want like to cancel the account or I mean, it's not, it's not going to cancel the account directly. It will send us a notification to us in case you want to cancel it. And the, this purple button is to log in uh, as a client in IDX Arons. So you don't have to mm, like go and get their API key to access to IDX Arons. And for the people that um, use this high level, we're adding this lead connector options link at the top, where if you click on it, it it's going to show an extra column here in the middle that says GHL apps. And it's going to show if they are uh, enabled or turned it on inside IDX Arons. So for example, the first uh, client, uh, doesn't have any app enabled, but the second one has most of the apps enabled. And that's a way so you can know if they if there's something missing or one app that you want to like set up for them. And what else? Ah, okay, we have a button here at the top that says app client. That's in case you want us to match uh, this client in our record. So we know that you are like the agency or if you want like to have, for example, these custom tools, we need to match them on our records so they can only access to your tools. But we would need like uh, for now this information, their, their ID broker API key, name, email address, their website, uh, domain, username, and password. And this is very useful uh, in case you want us to make uh, some updates to their website. And finally, here's uh, the sign up form for IDX Broker. Uh, this is a temporal solution, but it will help us with it will help you to uh, start registering some of your clients. So you are going to also have like this uh, option here 
we are providing you with a link and you can add it to your website directly or add it as an iframe. And the idea is that uh, you fill the form as if, if it was the IDX broker sign up form. It's going to look something like this, but it won't ask for your credit card. The idea is that you can like calculate or start seeing how how much it's going to be for your clients uh, all these uh, to have this IDX broker account. So when this form is filled, uh, you are going to receive an email and also we're going to receive an email with all this information. But you also have here another tab with uh, the information of the same the same form. So you can see who who has been uh, filling the information and you can like, um, I mean, only to track uh, the clients that have been filling this information. And that's all for my part. Hey, thank you, Maida. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So Maida, do we have a date that this agency dashboard is ready? Is that the end of the month? Is that about what we're looking at? Yes, we, we still need to add some features. So it's like more easier to use uh, for you as an agency, for example, maybe, I mean, we need to add some features still, but I hope that uh, by the end of this month, it can be like ready to go. Okay, super, thank you. Carlos. Thank you. Um, I'm going to share my screen and I'm really excited to show you the updates for IDX apps. IDX apps is our platform for iPhone Finder. So like IDX add-ons is for IDX broker, IDX apps is for iPhone Finder. So let me show you here, we have a, the, the apps available for our iPhone Finder clients and we have a, two of them. And as you can see, this is white label friendly. So it is this connector. I'm, I, I, would like, I would like to show you the one clip websites for iPhone Finder. These are a uh, websites uh, that you can make in, in minutes. And let me show you how it works. So once you uh, complete the, the purchase, you will uh, you need to complete a setup. So this is the first step. You create an iPhone Finder website. You need to, to select a name. Uh, we are going to make a website for, for Cancun, Mexico, and I will use that name. Then I need to select my apps that I want on my website. I suggest to select, uh, select them all. Then I need to select a contact form. I'm going to choose one. And this is something new. Uh, we have the ability of creating markets or creating a uh, community pages. And for that, we need to select a city. So this uh, dropdown will show all the cities av available in the MLS and you can select the, the one that you want to work with or the one that you want to show in the website. So I'm going to select a, one of them. Let me see if I can find Cancun. Well, this is, it will work too. And if I click on next, I need to select a secondary cities. So if you work on a other cities as well, you can select them. I'm going to select two of them and click on next. And it will start creating all the custom values in high level. So as you can see here, if I go to settings and custom values, in I will switch my account. This is still going. So I will search here for IDX apps. And these are the values that uh, the system has been creating. Uh, it just finished and it's showing me all the custom values that it created in, in, in high level. And the next step is copy the template. So you just need to use this link to clone the website in your account or in your, in your sub account. And then 
it will uh, populate all the info in the website. And do you remember the, the cities that we selected? They are right here, Cabo San Lucas and all the cities. So I can click on them. And these are the community pages with this, with the exact city. And I can uh, navigate between them. So this is the update that I wanted to show you. We can create community pages very quickly and very easy with, with iPhone Finder. Thank you. Hey, Carlos, quick question. So um, when is that gonna be ready for iHome Finder to make the one-click websites? Is that in a week or in the end of the month or what do you think? Well, I think that at the end of the, of the month, we, we will have the, the system completed. But if you would like to, to start using it, it, it is available. Uh, we just need to make some things manually, but if you want, if you want it completely automated, uh, we can wait until the end of the month. But you can start uh, offering this and you can start using it uh, for your clients. Okay. So we can get a one-click website, but it's just, a, it's just gonna take a lot of clicks to get the one-click website between now and the end of the month. Is that where we are? Yeah, exactly. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's pretty much what we have to show you this week. I don't know if we're doing these meetings too frequently, but that's that's what we've been working on. Jonathan, you said you might have some questions for us. So we're, we're bracing ourselves for some hard questions from you. <laughs> now, I mean, honestly, <clears throat> so, so I, I guess the, the key thing that I'm looking for and the key thing that I'm, that I'm guessing. So right now you guys have a product where myself who say is a marketer could plug this into my GHL and offer this feature to realtors. Is that correct? Where they can, they can have the ability to um, show the homes that that are in the areas that they're approved through MLS, they can do that, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so so and, when, and Jonathan, let me tell you one thing. So that those websites he's showing you, like that Cancun website, that's actually running. That's a high level website. Gotcha. That's not WordPress. It's not Squarespace. That's actually a, a high level website. So are your are your sites or funnels? Are they um, are they ran mostly through CSS or is it? I, I get, well, that's a one click. So everything is already built for you. Is that how it works? Well, it's kind of already built. What it is, is we, we're loading a bunch of custom values in our website. Our website design goes and pulls all those values from, from there. So you, you can go in and change it however you want, but we're, we have it. So it automatically loads it up like that one for you right there. So you could put the realtor's picture and yep. The color scheme, logo, yep. and all that stuff on there. Yep, yep. All okay. that's changed. Yep. And then, and then, when a client goes, if a client goes to that realtor's page, the realtor is able to track what the client is looking at, which homes. Yep. Okay. Now so that ties into what Vadim showed us at the beginning, which is that little dashboard that shows whatever that guy's name was, Wilco Weston or whatever. You can see what properties he's looking at the agent can see that inside of high level. Gotcha. And then now is it with that information, is it a workflow that is that you can build to trigger out SMSs or emails based on what properties that that person is looking at? Yeah. So that's a great question. So what we're doing is right now we're loading some of those values into um, high level as custom fields, and then you can build, automations based on that we're by the end of this month too you're going to see some new triggers workflows automation tools that we're going to be releasing too but that you're not supposed to ask about that yet <laughs> definitely <laughs> now now let me ask you this because you know is there how do you with the order form it's requiring that you pay that like 55 dollars or the different levels so yeah. for someone like myself i'm not a realtor but in yeah. order to sign up, I would have to have one of my realtors information so that way they can sign up. How, how does that work if I'm not a realtor? That's a good question. So what, what Maida was showing there is we 
this is a terrible workaround. First of all, Jonathan, you have to realize this well, this is changing. We, we've been in contact with IDX broker. They're going to change this for us. But that sign up form they have is no, we don't like it. It's not, it's no good. I, I just, I'll just say that. So that, that form that Maida showed you is a little bit confusing if you haven't done it before, but we've made, we've replicated their form so that you can send it to your agent. It's that one that she has with ABC123 on the top. You send that to your agent, they fill it out and it calculates based on their MLS. So say you've got some clients in Vegas, you've got some in Phoenix, you've got some in Denver. The, the MLSs are going to charge them different fees because every MLS likes to charge different fees for one reason. And so they fill that out. Then you'll get an email that says, hey, Becky Smith just filled out the signup form. And, and maybe you need, you've already got Becky's credit card number on file, or you're going to put it on your credit card and pass that on to her. However, they, you guys are going to handle the money. Then you or somebody in your team would need to go on to the real IDX broker form put in that information that Becky filled out previously and swipe somebody's credit card or put somebody's credit card information in there. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you this. So like, for example, where I'm at right now is I have an, I have an event on December 14th where I'm doing a luncheon for like, you know, 30, 40 realtors. Uh -huh. So what, what am I able to potentially show them when it comes to this um, platform? Yeah, that's a good question. So um, we may, I may need to get you a, uh, on a zoom meeting with me so we can show you some, some stuff. This is, this is what I would show them if it, if it were me, I would go, I would go to Cancun real estate search.com. I'm putting this in the chat okay. and, and show them that. And then the other place I would go is IDX add-ons forward slash GHL. And you know, we may need to make a little video. We have a bunch of videos too that show this stuff. And I mean, you don't want to be showing a bunch of, you know, goofy videos with me in it, but I'll just show you where our channel is anyway. Um, at youtube.com forward slash realty candy. And, and if you just look at the high level ones are mostly the newer videos, they oh. we're showing these dashboards in there. So you might be able to get some screenshots off of that. Kind of like what Mida just did. If you notice, Maida didn't really show you anything working. She just showed you a little PowerPoint of some screenshots there. So I that's probably what I would recommend. And I'll tell you, Jonathan, Vadim and Carlos are pretty brave to show like live sites because when I get on here and you know you're you're trying to demo something, it's like yeah, the website goes down, the domain doesn't work, your mouse breaks or whatever, right? And so I I kind of like having it in a controlled environment if I were doing a demo of some of that stuff and then just say, Hey, let's do a zoom meeting or something. We can show you the good stuff. But right now, is it, is everything up and running? If they said, Hey, you know yeah. what? We want to sign up and we want to have access. Is it, are they able to say, have their a one, a site where they can, you know? Yeah. They, it's, I'm, this is a real high level account. Like if I if I log in here, like say I'm look at, logging in as the principal broker here or the IDX uh, the IDX broker account owner, which you know th this is what it looks like in a, on in real life on high level. Okay. So that's that, and then the websites are kind of the same situation where, um, you know, like if I and I you know I don't know which ones which here, but let's just click. Uh, you know, th these sites are ready to go. So if somebody wanted to do this, I mean, we can kind of, this one's probably, you know, we have a dumb logo on that and it looks like we didn't finish building that, but the sites are actually up and running. I'd have to figure out, we have this, this account, the sub account has like 20 websites on it. I just okay. have to figure out which one's, which one's the real one here. I think okay. this is a real one right here, if I remember right. So, you know, they, it can be, uh, you know, this is another design we have here. Now, let me ask you, is that is so is that functionality, like, for example, at the very top where it says um, search and and is that done through uh, code or is that how yeah. is that? Yeah, this is all these are code widgets. This is part of what we build out. So like if I just hit search here, this it's working on a demo IDX broker account, but it could just as easily be anybody else's. And this is just showing these demo 
properties, but but this is this is a real. I mean, it's a real IDX broker account. It's just full of, it's a demo account that we have because of our relationship with IDX broker, but just as easily that could be, uh, you know, a, a real person's account. So what is, is there an onboarding process that you guys have in place for adding new realtors? There is. Um, so these one-click websites, we charge $199 one time to set them up. Then you host them you know, on your high-level account the rest of your life, and it's automated. Well, that includes setting up the IDX to it. If you have your own design, which is wonderful, and you say, hey, we want you guys to hook up the IDX to it, we charge $79 for your first five clients. And then after that, we don't charge you anymore to, to set up the IDX. So if you have Let's say you sign up 10 people at that luncheon here in a, in a week. The first five people, we'd hit you up for 79 bucks to hook up the IDX to their site. They have to have a subscription with IDX Broker. And then after that, we don't charge you anymore. And that $79, that's one time or monthly for each five? So we charge one time $79 for the first five accounts. And okay. then they have an ongoing subscription with IDX Broker. The way we fund this, Jonathan, is that we we get credit from IDX Broker, and and that's how I mean yeah. people think we're trying to scam them because we're giving all this stuff for free. We get paid for it in a roundabout way, yeah. but that's that's how we run our our business is, is by doing that. Yeah, because I know there's other there's other companies, or at least I know another one that's similar to what you guys offering, mm -hmm. and so I noticed that's you know the goal is to get as many realtors tapped in that's the goal that you guys have is to get as many you yep. know realtors on the book so but i mean that's my goal too yep. is to get as many realtors <laughs> well i'll tell you a couple things about this what we found is that you know the idx helps make realtors sticky to what you're doing it makes it so that they they it keeps them involved in what's going on we've been doing this for almost 14 years now we've made about 75 web apps that we give folks for free oh. and uh we're really the only IDX broker developer partner that's been focused on writing software instead of just building websites and hooking IDX up to it. So we're, we've been doing this for a while. And, and that's like you say, the name of the game is to get the realtors in it. But we believe that if you have the website with the IDX and the high level and the automations and all that stuff, you create a pretty sticky product for folks. It makes it pretty hard for them just to bounce off and go try something else next week. So, so if I wanted to say get started with you guys, would the first step be for me to pay that that fifty five dollars or get a client? To, like, what's the first step? Yeah, the first step is you're gonna want um, you're gonna want a client. Uh, let's say, let's just in a hypothetical situation, let's say this is your sister in law that's signing up and she's your friend and buddy and everything. You can just say, hey, sister in law, you know, go to. We need to probably set up a thing, but you just go to Realty Candy. Um, let me get you our sign up form. I'll put it here in chat. I have a, I have a client that's that's like I got to get her set up like right now today. So I, you know, yeah, I'd have her go to what I just put in there, platinum.realtycandy.com, and I'll just show you here on my on my screen. It's this is actually where they go. The, the reason we want them to change this, because once you go past these first things, they're asking you to sign up for, for their CRM. So okay. that's why we made that other form. And we're pressuring IDX uh, broker to give us a different way for folks to sign up. Hey, Ifoma said that he's happy and he can vouch for us 100 percent. So now I'm going to I'm going to owe Ifoma 20 bucks for saying that once we're done <laughs> here, Jonathan. <laughs> so. But, so let's say my client goes here and signs up. Yep. So what do what do do I get something to iframe this inside of my go high level or how does it work? Yeah. So then the next thing, and this sounds like, I mean, I I, I want to be it's it's a little tricky on the first one. And it's it's I'm glad you're asking because what our we think the secret sauce is to get one client signed up. And then after that, the process is pretty simple, but it's one of those things that until you do it the first time, you don't understand uh, like, what are these guys doing? This is a, it's just kind of a little bit chaotic. What you'd want to do is come here to realtycandy.com forward slash IDX. I'm going to pop that in the chat. And then you'll, you'll just hit this order form 
and sign up for 79 bucks. But you'll also, I'm gonna put this in the chat. You're gonna to wanna to send a, a note to support it Realty Candy, an email that says, um, you know, I'm just gonna put an example. Uh, Becky. So something like this, uh, Becky Smith at Becky sells Denver.com is my client. Please don't contact her directly. Then we know because otherwise we don't know that she's your client. We think we just have got a new sign up from this Becky gal and come to find out, you know, she's your client and we've already, you know, sent her all this stuff and tried to sell her who knows what, you know, we're trying to sell her. Gotcha. So you send, you let us know that, just send that. We're not going to reach out to Becky if you send us something like this. Yeah. Um, but and then just have Becky go to that sign up, sign up for IDX broker, and then either she or you hits the seventy nine dollar thing, and then we'll hook it up to whatever website you have for her right now. So what is the seventy nine dollars for? Is that that is that that bill that you were talking about the first five? Is that what that yes, is? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So so she would need to pay the seventy or you know we would need to pay that seventy nine dollars for the site, and then she would pay her her IDX fee of $55, for example. Yeah. So Ifoma here offered to, to he'll, he'll show you how he does stuff. Okay. In the chat. Uh, and he, we've been working with, with Ifoma for a while. Thank you, Ifoma. In fact, I, I Ifoma was here in St. George one day. We, Ifoma and I went out to lunch. Um, but she, when that $79 thing Jonathan, she'll, you'll need to have a website for her that you want us to hook up to. Okay. If you want us to do our website, Maida, can you put in the chat where the link is for the one click for that so we can know where that is? If he wants to use a one click website. And Jonathan, I apologize that this is so stinking complicated. We're trying to remove a lot of these levels of complication out of here. But it's a, it's kind of a little bit slower than we'd want it to be. Well, I mean, I'll be honest. You know, I'd rather come in now. You know, in the so that way, you know, the foundation stages. I'm okay with it as long as we can get something up and running. You know. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's it's okay. So once she has an IDX broker account, uh, -huh. uh then there's a place to to sign up for it. So. If you want us to build a website, if you want to do the website, then you just build your website. And then the website that you're talking about is that Cancun one or that black, that black one, Astro that one. one. Yep. Okay. And then, and then like, uh, are there multiple pages or is it just one page? What yeah, there's multiple pages and we build some community pages out for it. It's got an about page. Um, I think there's a home valuation page on it. And if you have some other stuff that you want us to put in there, we're happy to do that for you. And so it's one ninety nine for yep. each client for five. Well, those are actually we're charging that per client kind of forever at this point. Okay. We may right. change that in the future, but that's for the one click, and that includes the seventy nine dollars. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, all right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, definitely. Um, I mean, it looks good. I mean, this is definitely a, like you said, it's sticky is for, you know, if you're, if you're running, if you're marketing to realtors, it's definitely going to be an attractive component. Um, so, yeah. Well, we, we sure hope so. And I, I appreciate you joining us, uh, Jonathan. Oh yeah. No, I, I, pre I appreciate the information. Everybody did a good job. Everybody has some good, some good content. I can see the growth. I can see that, you know, I think it's, uh, I can see the, how everything is moving towards, you know, automation and everything is moving towards, you know, curb appeal, making everything look attractive and, and move streamlessly. So, you know, you guys are doing a great job. Hey, I appreciate that. We're doing what we can. We're going to, we hope you, you, you see some great stuff here in the next few weeks. We're pretty excited about what we're working on. All right. Appreciate yeah. it. Jeff, I see you in there. Is there is there anything that we can help you out with today? We're we got Q and A here. We get paid by the hour, so we we want to answer any questions. I appreciate being invited. I'm listening and learning, 
kind of putting the pieces of the puzzle together okay. in that process. You know, like Melvin, I kind of wondered where the starting point was, step one, step two. And um, so I appreciate it. But no, I don't have a, a list of, of questions for, for anyone for right now. But thank you. Okay. And, and I appreciate you guys asking about that because that's something that we probably need to do is try to simplify that just more and more so it's really easy. And it, my wife was telling me at one time, she says, you've got this so complicated. She says, the only person that understands what you guys do is you. She, you know, So we've tried to simplify that a little bit and hopefully we can do a lot more. Hey, that, that one click uh, URL is not active or it's not, I can't, maybe I have the, yeah, it won't let you get to it unless you have a, an IDX broker account. So we may need to spin that out somewhere, Mida, um, so that he, that he can get to it without actually. The, the reason it has to have an IDX broker account connected to it, Jonathan, is because um, we we have to know which IDX data we're we're connecting to it. Gotcha, gotcha. So we kind of. You know, I don't know if that's, you know, actually the very best way to do that. We we may need to move that out so you, people can just sign up for it. But but we don't want you can't sign up for it if they don't have an IDX account because we can't click any. You can't do the one click. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of like um, it's kind of like the Apple App Store. If you don't have an Apple phone yet, you can't. That App Store is just not going to do you too much good. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And 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 I put our email in there. Um so if there's anything that you see Jonathan that you need help with, we all track that same email address. Just shoot us an email that um support at Realty Candy, we'll all get eyeballs on it. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you much. And then when we go to Vegas, we need to go out to lunch or do something like that too. We go down there occasionally when we fly or pick up somebody at the airport. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm. Like I said, this is um, it's definitely gonna you know be an asset. So I can see what you guys are doing, and and I'm excited. Okay, and and on the other hand, if you come up to St. George, you want to get away, or you're headed up to get out of the heat down there, or something, come by, and uh, we'll we'll grab a bite to eat here. Yeah, the last time I was out that way, I was in Ogden. Yeah, I went to Ogden. Well, that's you would blew right past us, man. You got way <laughs> out crazy on us. Yeah, I went camping out there, so yeah. Yeah, we'll come out here and we'll take you out to Zion National Park or something one day. I'll I'll tell Vadim and all those guys that I'm busy with a, a client and then we'll just go out hiking and I'll try to act like we're, I was busy. <laughs> Definitely, absolutely. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, everybody. Anybody else have anything they want to share? Not really, but John, thank you so much for um, connecting to our webinar. It was great speaking with you. <laughs> Likewise. Thank you. Thank you for your help also. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, Fernanda. Okay. We'll see everybody next week. Same time, same channel. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.